Agent G. Are we here? Ooh, it's one of those street side places. Looks cute and cozy. Welcome! Oh, Miss Kiminami, how do you do? Oh, Miss Kamisato, perfect timing. Your booking was for... Well, right now! I believe so. We'll be sticking to the order I placed in advance. As for the other matter we discussed, thank you for your help. Excellent! No problem. And everything you asked for is ready and waiting. Traveler, tiny customer, please wait here for a moment while I prepare your food. Go ahead and take a seat. There is something I need to take care of, but I'll be back momentarily. <clears throat> it's nothing of that sort. I just have a few minor things I need to attend to. I won't be long. She sure left in a hurry. Whatever it is, it must be pretty urgent. So you two are Miss Kamisato's friends? <laughs> well, we serve all the classics. Sure, there are fancier looking places out there, but the food here speaks for itself. Hope you enjoy it. Over the years we've been in business, we've gotten to know the Kamisato clan quite well. Miss Kamisato and her brother are both fond of our food. They're always sending staff down here to order something and take it back to them. Her table booking surprised me. Not least because it was a group reservation. This is the first time I've ever heard of Miss Kamisato going out for dinner with friends. The first time ever? Oh, guess that makes us pretty important people, huh? Sure does. And I'm probably crossing the line here, but I'm just telling you what others have told me. Apparently, Miss Kamisato doesn't have a lot of friends. How is that possible? She's so kind and polite to everyone. Paimon would have thought that would make her really popular. That's what I used to think, too. But it turns out the rules of social interaction are a bit more complicated than that. Nobody in the neighborhood has a bad word to say about her. They all say she's beautiful, elegant, graceful, not to mention that she belongs to one of the most illustrious clans in the land. In short, they see her as a model young lady. But that's just it. People look at her and they see a model of perfection, and they don't feel like that's something they can relate to. So the majority of kids from our ordinary families don't even try to talk to her. So you see, on paper, she sounds like a girl everyone would want to get to know. But in practice, she finds it difficult to make friends. Huh. Paimon never would have guessed. We don't speak all that much, but we do go quite a way back. I've always admired her for taking on so many responsibilities at such a young age. So it makes me really happy to see her here with friends today. Anyway, relax. Enjoy your meal. And please, talk to her as much as possible. I know she'll appreciate it. Consider it a favor for the whole neighborhood. Look after her for us. Ah! Huh? That sounded like Ayaka! <sighs> I'm so sorry, Traveler. Could you join me over there for a minute? Um, I need your help with something. I'm sorry. I didn't want to drag you away all of a sudden. I, um, just had a cooking catastrophe. Oh, so that loud noise we heard came from the cooking pot. As you can see, this house is right next to the restaurant. It's where the owner lives. Actually, this whole compound is the family's private property. I asked Miss Kiminami to prepare some ingredients and utensils for me so that I could cook a special dish here. Right! If there's something you want to eat, you could just order it from the menu. Actually, I wanted to cook something as a gift for Tsubaki. My mother mentioned in her notebook that Tsubaki enjoys food from all over the world. So I thought, if I'm going to meet Tsubaki, perhaps a dish from overseas would make a fitting gift. A dish from overseas? So anything from outside Inazuma counts, right? If so... Then we've got lots of options, don't we? Hey! Don't make this weird! Can I leave you to finish this task then? Just as a personal favor. Is that okay? 
I'll be indebted to you. Great. But... What kind of overseas dish would make a suitable gift? It needs to survive a journey from the kitchen to the recipient's doorstep. Oh, hi, my nose! There's one dish out there that was practically created for this purpose! Pizza! Pizza? It's an assortment of toppings and sauce spread over a bread base and cooked in the oven! And it's so good! That does sound pretty good. Oh, it's ready! <laughs> it smells delicious. You're an excellent cook, Traveler. <sighs> I would love to be able to master dishes from all over the world. Well, all you need to learn is a recipe. We can bring you some more recipes in the future if you like. Great. I look forward to learning from your culinary expertise. How are you all doing? Whoa, is this... Miss Kamisato, this must be the dish you were talking about. Yes, an overseas dish cooked by the Traveler. Could I trouble you to package it for me? Sure, no problem. Oh... It smells good. I bet it tastes amazing. Oh, now I really want to put something like this on our menu. <laughs> want us to teach you how to make it? Oh, could you? The most satisfying meals are the ones you share with other people. So Paimon thinks that our friends in Mondstadt wouldn't mind us sharing this dish with Inazuma. Really? <sighs> That's great. I've always wanted to learn how to cook some international dishes. If you can write down a recipe for me, I'll add it to our menu and put a promotion where everyone will see it. Since we've become a closed nation, people haven't had the chance to try anything new. Traveler, you're the best! I'll go pack up this dish for Miss Kamisato. Please, make your way back to the restaurant whenever you're ready. The food will be waiting for you. You could have sold that recipe for a high price. But you selflessly gave it away for free. You're a wonderful person. I mean it. I admire you a lot. And I'm so proud to be friends with someone of such fine character. Well, you should probably write down the recipe now, no? Yeah, let's make sure we include all the details and then give it to Miss Kiminami. So, pizza. Start with the basic ingredients. Correct, Mundo. Right, now to add the next couple of ingredients. Mmm, yep, that's right. Now for the cooking instructions. Place onto oven rack at high heat and cook until golden brown. All right, it's done. Long may our reputations and our recipes precede us wherever we go in Inazuma. I have no doubt that they will. This dish is exquisite. Cool! Then let's get this recipe to Miss Kiminami Pronto! Hey! Have you written out the recipe? Here it is. Thank you! Wowie! This is so exciting. I want to make it right away. Traveler, Paimon, please accept my sincerest apologies for delaying your meal. <laughs> no problem! Food always tastes better when you've worked up an appetite. All right, let's dig in before it gets cold. Well, what do you think? Is Inazuman cuisine to your liking? It's amazing! Paimon loved this one! Oh, and especially that one over there! <laughs> Good. I'm relieved. Um, when I was attempting to cook earlier on, did you chat with the owner at all? And did she, uh... Say anything about me? She did, but don't worry. She's just happy for you is all. She's... happy for me? Oh, then... she must have told you. Did she... um... What does it matter? I know just as well as anybody else that I've got no friends. Hey, it's not you. 
Most people just haven't had the chance to talk to you one on one before. Thank you for your comforting words, Paimon. It's all true, though. I just don't have very many friends. Most of the time I'm either accompanied by family or staff, so everyone must have found it quite a surprise to see me taking you out for a meal. Exactly! You've got at least two friends right here! Aww! Thank you! That makes me so happy! Ahem! <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm forgetting myself. Hey now! Expressing your feelings is the right thing to do! Keeping them locked away inside isn't gonna do you any good now, is it? I agree. So, I just want to say how happy I feel that you both see me as a true friend. Of course we do. That's always been our style. If someone's nice to us, we're nice to them too. Friendship can go a long way. Take your mom, for example. She wrote about Tsubaki in her notebook, and now it's made you want to find them too. Yes. I think friendship is an extremely precious thing. And ours is one that I will always treasure. Um, while we're on the topic, though, who is this Tsubaki person anyway? Well, I think I have an idea, but it's just speculative at this point. I think that Tsubaki might be a fox envoy. A fox envoy? Yes, that's what I think. Even I, my mother's own daughter, had never even heard of this friend before. It just seems so... mysterious. So I think it must be someone with transcendent abilities who doesn't show themselves very often. And fox envoys are nothing new. Stories have been told about them in Inazuma since ancient times. You must have met Kuji Yae before. Well, she's a fox envoy. That got me thinking. Maybe there are fox envoys out there in Inazuma that people just don't know about. And maybe Tsubaki is one of them. Whoa! So Inazuma also has supernatural beings? Uh, when you say also... Well, before Inazuma, we spent some time in Liyue. They have lots of supernatural beings there, like the Adepti. All kinds of them, too! Up in the sky, down below the ground, in the water... Really? I've come across such things being asserted in books, but to hear someone talk about it from first-hand experience is extremely surprising. So Li Yue lives up to its reputation. Its culture has a long history and gives rise to the most beautiful legends. Quite captivating. You should come visit Li Yue with us sometime. The best part is, they have loads and loads of delicious delicacies! Really? I would love that! Speaking of delicacies... Traveler, Paimon, have you eaten your fill? Oh, Paimon has! Excellent! Then let's collect the kimono. Then we can pay a visit to my mother's mysterious and transcendent friend. <laughs> 